in it. Miss Angie going to preach tonight. <laughs> you heard me? I said, you, you going to preach tonight. You can hear her thing. Yeah. Oh. I thought she said, you going to preach tonight. But she said, woo. <laughs> And you said, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, uh, sir. My hearing is terrible. Some of them say, I want to kill you. I go, okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> when? What time? <laughs> what day? Yeah, yeah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man, it's funny. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. It's time to begin service. Let's stand up before the Lord and ask Him to move. Amen. Once again, in our midst, thank you, Lord, that we can worship you tonight. We thank you for everyone that's here. We thank you for your word. We thank you for what you hope you accomplish in our hearts, in our lives, as we look to you by faith and in a reality. Hallelujah. And let's give the Lord a clap on for
And I'm happy and I'm thankful uh, that some time has been set aside to celebrate the American worker. Amen. Amen. There are a lot of people in this country that work hard yes. and labor and take care of their business. It's the people. Why is it that the people that don't do right get all the attention? Amen. Amen. But I'm thankful for all the hardworking people, those that are retired and those that are still laboring and working. There are many, many people that you'll never hear from. There are many, many people that you'll never know about. Mm -hmm. There are many, many people that you'll never hear on the radio, you'll never see on TV, that get up every day, go to work, take care of their families, pay their bills, are responsible citizens, and on and on and on. Amen. That just, that just simply do what they're supposed to do. They don't bother anybody. They don't hurt anyone. And uh, they're, they're good and decent people. Amen. Amen. Some Christians and some may not be Christians. There are some decent people who are not Christians. Yes, sir. Amen. And Amen. so what I'm saying is we celebrate the hardworking people and all of their accomplishments. Amen. At this particular time. And so uh, the Lord laid a message upon my heart in reference to labor. And I uh, began and, and, and preached about it this morning. About how when we're serving God, it's a labor of love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, the things we do for God is, is work. It takes effort. It, it takes dedication. You have to be faithful to it, just like you have to do a job, right? Mm -hmm. You have to be loyal and faithful and dedicated, and it takes, believe me, if you are a real Christian, you have to work at it. Yes, sir. Am, am I right? Mm -hmm. You have to work at it. And uh, you have to really put time and effort, strength, endurance, and on and on and on. It takes all of that to be the Christian that God wants us to be. And we have our ups, we have our downs. Sometimes we may fail. We're not promoting that, but sometimes we may fail. But God has everything in his word set up for whatever situation we may face. Really. Yes, he has every, if, if you're really interested in being what God wants you to be, there is something in the scripture that can help you. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you're on the mountaintop, if you're in the valley, if you're faltering, uh, if you're being tempted, or if you just simply failed or sinned, there's something in the Bible that helps us. But but in all in all, we need to keep working, we need to keep laboring, we need to keep going at it, and, and sometimes things don't look like it's working out, sometimes it don't look like we're progressing. Sometimes it may even look like we're, we're not, it's like, God, I don't even know what's going on. It seems like I'm just existing. But you know what? That's because serving God is labor. Mm -hmm. uh, that's because serving God takes work. And there's a lot of highs and there's lows and all of that. Amen. But you have to keep on going. You have to stay faithful. You have to keep working. You have to keep laboring. Amen. Because you have to understand that, uh, this is not easy street. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is not easy street. The Bible said, War unto them that are at ease in Zion. Okay? So understand that when you come into Christianity and you forget forgiveness of your sins and you embark upon a life of serving God, that there's labor, that there's work, and uh, that there's work involved. And uh, we have to be committed to it. And, and, and the main thing that drives us, as we talked about this morning, as we get ready to go back into it, we're going to receive the tithes and offerings a little later, but as we go back into it, the driving force, the motivating force is love. Amen. 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 When you love God, yes. it's all good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes, Amen. When you love God, it works. When you love God, it will get you through a battle. Mm -hmm. When you love God, when you fall, it will help you get back up. Yes. When you love God, it will cause you to uh, be understanding of your fellow man. Yes. When you love God, it will help you and your friend and your 
brother or your sister uh, to, to take care of each other. When they're down, you help them up. When you're down, they'll help you up. And, and on and on and on. Why? Because love is the motivating force of working for God, serving God, laboring for God, uh, being committed and dedicated. And no matter what you face, you understand that this requires work. Yeah. Amen. Uh, coming to church faithfully is work. Yes, sir. Uh, getting up every day and making sure you spend time with God in His Word. Making sure that you spend time in the in prayer. Amen. And even witnessing and talking to people. And uh, my wife and I remember Steele was out today together, and there was a young lady waiting on our table. And it was beautiful how God just worked it all out. Yes. Amen. And, that's, and at some point, uh, we all kind of were engaging and talking to her, but it was all done in a, in a, a respectful manner, but, but God was involved. Yes. Amen. And witnessing and talking to this young lady. Amen. Because we're concerned about the souls of men and women. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And so God is faithful. God is faithful. And so you got to keep on keeping on. What did Paul say? Uh, Miss Angie, I think about the Bible, right? I think about the Bible. And Paul said, I press. Yes. Yes. Isn't is that not what he said? He said, I press. Yes. That means that he's got to go against things. When you press, yes. that means you, you go forward, but yet there's things working against you. Yes, sir. That things coming against you. Trials and tribulations and, and battles. But you, he said, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. Yes, sir. So, serving God is work. Serving God is labor. Amen? But it is something you do because you're motivated by love. So remember that, okay? So with that, we're going to go ahead and pray, and then we're just going to minister, and we're going to let God help us tonight. Amen. With that, Reverend Steele, sir, would you pray and ask God's blessing, please? Thank you, Father, for your word. Pray that you would orchestrate everything according to your will. Fill the hearts by your spirit. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank Amen. you, brother. Thank you, brother. Amen. I'm preaching on the, top, the title of a message. Labor of love. Serving God is a labor of love. And I, I will read the scripture to you. I'm not going to go back over everything I talked about because I just kind of gave you a synopsis of that. Or I just gave you an overall view of what I, I shared this morning about laboring serving God. It takes work, it takes effort, and on and on. But 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verses 1 through 3. Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus unto the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God the Father and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. And it's a good thing to pray for people. Yes, sir. I said it's a good thing to pray for people. Amen. And it's also a good thing for people to pray for you too. Yes, sir. Amen. We, we, it's good to have reciprocation. <laughs> Amen. I pray for you, you pray for me. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's, uh, you know, we need some cooperation in this thing. <laughs> uh, uh, we always say love is not a two way, is not a one way street. Praying is not a one way street either. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't expect somebody to do all the praying for you and you don't ever pray for nobody else. That's, it's a good thing. Always making mention of you in our prayers. And then verse 3, which is my text. Remembering without ceasing. I like the word remembering. I like the word remembering because the word remember means to not forget. Mm -hmm. 
to be conscious of as often as necessary as you need to. Yeah. Amen. To be able to recall and bring back something to your memory. In other words, every day I need to pray for this person. Every day I need to make sure I read my Bible. Every day I need to make sure I do this, I do that. Uh, remember, there are things. Now I know people say as you get older, your memory goes. Your memory goes. People say as you get older. And that's true to a, to a certain extent. But there are certain things if you don't have Alzheimer's or if you don't have dementia that you don't forget. Mm -hmm. Right? There are certain things if you don't have dementia or if you don't have Alzheimer's, not all Alzheimer's. People say all Alzheimer's. It's not, it's Alzheimer's with a Z and an H, I think. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. But anyway, um, uh, uh, so there are certain things that we don't forget when our mind is in good working condition. We don't forget to take a, take a shower. We don't forget to brush our teeth. We don't forget to, uh, as we need to, we may use the, uh, the restroom for whatever our body may be instructing us to do. Amen. And you, you notice I said that respectfully. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Your body will let you know what you need to do. I brought you that. <laughs> and, uh, and, and we don't forget that if we have a job, that we need to go to work. We don't forget, we're not supposed to forget that bills need to be paid. Amen? If you do, you will know when things get cut off. You will know. But I'm just saying, Paul said, remembering. In other words, he, he said, we need to make it a point. We need to make sure we recall. We need to make sure that it is a matter of importance that we do not forget. Amen. Uh, without ceasing your work of faith. That is work. What is work? Energy, effort. Energy, effort. Mm -hmm. That you put into something to accomplish a task or something. Of, of that nature. All right? Work is effort and energy put into something. Of faith. In other words, to practice faith, it takes work. To practice faith, it takes effort. You must, you, it takes effort to believe God. Mm -hmm. It takes effort to trust God. Mm -hmm. when, because everything inside of you sometimes uh, when you need something or when something needs to happen for you or when you need God to work a miracle, everything inside of you want to just make something happen. Everything inside of you want to go through this and go through that. Uh, but when you are believing God, it means that you have to trust Him. It means that you have to believe. Once you give it to Him, you have to believe that He's going to accomplish it. That takes work. Yeah. That takes effort. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It takes work and effort, trusting and believing God. And Paul writes, under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. How many of you thank God for the Holy Ghost tonight? Yes. Amen. I said, how many of you thank God for the Holy oh, Ghost tonight? Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the Holy oh, Ghost hallelujah. right now. Even thank in this service. Lord. The same Holy yeah. Ghost that inspired Paul to write this, the Bible said all the scriptures were given by the inspiration of God. That means it was God breathed. Amen. I still believe in the Holy Ghost tonight. Amen. I still believe yeah. in being baptized in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I still believe people speak in tongues when they're baptized in the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's what you need tonight. You need the Holy Ghost. Amen. Those of you that are watching online, I don't know where you're from. I don't know all the details of your background, but you need the Holy Ghost tonight. What, what do the church need? Our country needs the Holy Ghost. Yes. The church needs the Holy Ghost. Your family needs the Holy Ghost. I need the Holy Ghost. Yes. You need the Holy Ghost. We can't have church till the Holy Ghost comes. 
We need the Holy Ghost tonight. He says, remembering without ceasing your work of faith. Your work of faith. And if you're doing anything for God, it's always said like when we leave our headquarters and we come out to a place to, to, uh, to whether it be Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Dayton, wherever God may send you, we call it going out to a work. <laughs> That's what we call it. Where you going out? Going, where you going to work for God? Or, or they or they're labor. Or you may ask somebody, where you laboring at? That's you know, we'll ask uh, amongst ourselves when you see someone at conference, we say, Where are you laboring at? Yeah. Where where's your work? I'm working for God in yeah. Anchorage, Alaska. I'm working for God in Fairbanks. Yes. I'm working for God in St. Louis. Thank God for Reverend and Sister Devin Shire. Yes. Amen. And our brothers and sisters there. Yes. I'm laboring for God in Glendale, Arizona. Yes. Thank God for Reverend and Sister Hall and Reverend and Sister Wester. I'm laboring for God. I'm working for God. Thank God for the team and family and all the other brothers and sisters, the Diaz and all the brothers and sisters down there. Thank God for Reverend Sister Stevens laboring for God in Germany. Thank God for our Reverend Sister Fulmer and Reverend Sister Annis in South Korea. Thank God for Reverend Sister McDonald and all of our Filipino brethren laboring in the island of the Philippines. Thank you for our brother, Reverend Gonzalez, laboring in the Panama, and Reverend Sister Kekola, and Reverend Gonzalez, and all the other various people laboring, working, striving. Understand something, but I'm here to tell you that God knows. 
knows. And he knows the work that you put in. He knows the love that you put in. And the dedication that you put in. But thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph. We're going to win this battle. Brother, we're going to win this battle. And we're going to do what God wants us to do. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Because this is a labor of love. Yes, sir. We've seen a lot of things along yes. the way. Yes. We've seen a lot of people come and go. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, we've had a lot of ups and downs. But the reason why we're still here, Brother Trusty, the reason why we're still here is because we love God. Uh, we, we love God. It's about God tonight. Uh, it's about God. It's a labor of love. And when you love God, you put up with a bunch of junk. I said when you love God, you put up with a bunch of junk. Uh, you put up with people saying things to you. You put up with people talking behind your back. You put up with stress. You put up with problems. You put up with all kinds of things. Uh, because we're not here uh, to, to, to uh, we're not here trying to please people. We're here because we love God. Yes, sir. Amen. And God is our motivation. Yes, sir. I say God is our motivation yes, tonight. Yes, yes, We love yes. him because he first loved us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The children's song says, Jesus loves me, this I know. Full of the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible.
But the key is, it's a celebration of the accomplishment of all the work and labor that the American people have put in. And that they do, and that they, uh, they give. And, and as I shared with you earlier, there's so many people, from doctors to lawyers to uh, construction workers and, and union people, uh, and, and when you come, when you say the union, that covers quite a bit. Amen. Of people of all ilks, races, kindreds, job descriptions, electricians, carpenters, uh, uh, sheet metal workers, and and uh, and uh, sanitation people, and all and in, and people, and all kinds of engineers and uh, medical assistant workers and. And people are working in the medical field, and on and on and on. People that uh, food, people that prepare food, and and and, and people that are uh, chefs and and uh, service workers, and all people in the military, and on and on and on. We celebrate, but the most thing is me. But more importantly than that, are you a worker for God? Amen. Can they say you? It's one thing to say I work for the place that I work for. And that's important and that's good. But are you a worker for God? Uh, can somebody look at you and, and declare you a laborer for God? A worker for God? Are you, are you dedicated? Are you committed to it like you would when you punch in and go to work? It's time to punch in for God. Amen. I said it's time to punch in for God and get on the clock. Amen. It's time to get on the clock. Amen. And let's get to work. I'm going to finish with this. And I have many things that I <coughs> did not talk about. I have. I always try to make sure I have. I'm, I'm prepared. I'm not perfect, but I try to make sure I'm prepared. And so I'm going to skip all the way to the end here. And I want to read some scriptures to you. And I hope and pray that those of you that are listening to me, and even those of you that are watching online, I hope that you have listening ears. I hope you have listening ears, and I hope you have receptive hearts. And Jesus went about Matthew 9, 35 through 38, and Jesus went about all the cities and the villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Don't you? I thank God for healing today. Amen. Amen. I thank yes. God for healing today. Yes, sir. It's my prayer, Miss Angie, that if you have any pain in your body, if you if you have any kind of thing that you deal with, that God will Amen. touch you right Amen. now. That God will strengthen you right now. That God will help you right now. That God will help your sister right now. Where, where she is. That God will move over there. And amongst all those people. That he'll protect her. That he'll watch over her. That he'll let no hurt home or danger. Come upon her life. God keep your hands up. Upon society. And her sister. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said he went about all the villages healing. Lord, thank you for healing. Yes. Miss Glory. Yes. Uh, sister, sister's mother. We thank you for yes. healing, Sister Glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We thank you for healing, Sister Hazel. Yes. We thank you for healing, Mama yes. Carl. Yes. We thank you for healing, Pat. God, we just thank you for all the other people in the congregation oh, that are going to fulfill the system of I rebuke middle illness. I rebuke cancer. I rebuke all kinds of problems. In Jesus' name. Jesus went about the, the, the villages. Healing up every sickness, every disease. Amen. We shouldn't be afraid to pray. Amen. We shouldn't be afraid to pray for a headache. And we shouldn't be able to be scared to pray for cancer. Because God said. Amen. God can heal AIDS. God can heal HIV. God can heal all these things. Uh, leukemia, lupus. Amen. I believe God's able to touch people.
people with dementia. I believe God's able to touch people with Alzheimer's. I believe God's able to heal as he sees fit to do it. Yes, sir. Amen? Yes. If he wanted to, he could reverse it. I believe that people that have that, if God wanted to, he can reverse it. Yes, sir. I believe yes, that with all my heart. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. And I wonder if there's somebody out there tonight that accept the responsibility. I wonder if there's somebody out there tonight that will say, Jesus, I'll go. Yes. Jesus. I'll do what you want me to do. Uh, I'll be the one that you can depend on. I'll step forward and bear the responsibility and the accountability. And let me finish this up. Hallelujah. So he went about preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, Excuse me. He was moved with compassion on them, like I do when I see the people of Pittsburgh. It bothers me when people are not saved. Yes, sir. It bothers me when people are sick. Sometimes when I'm at work and I go in and out of the doctor's offices and I see people going into the cancer center, I see uh, older people going in. Their appointments. I see things going on with them. And I, I just want right there, but I'll pray for them silently. Amen. Because you know what? You don't have to say that. God can, God, God, you can pray for them silently and God can still touch them. Amen. 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 One of the ladies that I used to deliver at the office has come down with cancer. And I saw her sitting in her wheelchair uh, at the cancer center. And my heart was moved with compassion. Amen. And I said, God, I said, God, touch her by the Holy Spirit. I pray. God, heal her. I pray. She's such a nice lady. She's such a nice woman, God. Touch her and heal her by the Holy Ghost, we pray. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Move with compassion on them because they fainted and were scared of the broad and she having no shepherd. Then said he unto his disciples. Now he said this to the disciples, right? Now I think the disciples was right there with him. He was teaching them. He was training them. They was observing him. They witnessed what he was doing. So they're right there. Then said he unto his disciples, the harvest is truly plenteous, but the what? Laborers are few. In other words, there's lots of work to do, but where are the people that need to do the work? Yes. There's lots of sin out here, but are there people that want to help bring in the harvest? It's harvest time tonight. Yes. Are you with me? It's harvest time tonight. Men and women that do not know Jesus as their personal Savior is lost. I said people that do not know Jesus as their personal Savior. I think about people in your building that need God. People in the community that need God. People downtown that need God. People on the north side, people on the south side, people on the east and west that need God. Are you going to stand with us tonight? Hallelujah. Stand. Oh, when you've done all you, you can. Yeah. And it seems like you can't make it through. Hallelujah. Stand, stand tonight. Praying to the Lord and the Lord of the harvest. Yes. That he will send forth laborers into the harvest. People all over the land need God. People Thank need healing. Lord. People need to be saved. God needs workers tonight. Thank I said God needs workers here in Pittsburgh. Yes. I 
wonder if there's somebody out there whose heart God is taking. We need help. We need workers. We need people to come and help labor to do what God wants done. God saved from the other, from the governments to the uttermost. Yes, Jesus. When you're done all you can. Yes. yes and it seems like you can make it through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When it seems like there's nothing left to do. Hallelujah. But just stand. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. And let the Lord see you through. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God, have your way tonight. Bless them around this altar. God, touch hearts. God, touch lives. Touch over. God, touch over the computer. God, touch over the internet. God, there's people that are crying out. There are people that have great needs. There are people that are struggling. There are people that are having difficulties. God needs workers tonight. Serving God is a labor of love. Thank you, God. Serving God is a labor of love. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. God. 